Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, episode 37. Okay. I will, of course, have additional usage for the Mustang in the future, but obviously, we now need to head back to the car dealer for our next event, which is the Boxer Spirit. And as of which, there are only two manufacturers that are applicable for Boxer Spirit. One of them is Roof, or RUF, and the other is Subaru. So, obviously, because Subarus are cheaper, we're going to head over there. And there are pretty much many different choices I could choose from here. But obviously, because I want to be different, and also because I have the money, I'm going to buy myself the Impreza Wagon WRX STI version 6. So this is the car I'm going to use, the Impreza Wagon version 6. And as for the colour, well, we have got some reasonable colours in here, but I think for this segment, I'm going to get this thing in cashmere yellow. So that's exactly what I'm doing, and because I dare to be old school, that's exactly the machine I'm using, and obviously no tuning available in terms of engine tuning, because obviously this thing is a turbo, and of course, I don't think grip is going to be too much of a problem. And of course, I will also purchase myself the Stage 1 Turbo Kit, along of course with also putting on Stage 1 of weight reduction with the sports tyres. so I have the mileage to go the distance, just in case. And... Actually, yeah, I will change the rooms whilst I'm here. Just because I dare to keep the variety going. And, uh... uh yeah, let's go to Yokohama. See what they have. Since obviously this thing is, uh... Six spoke. Yeah, I'm gonna these on. And also gonna do the usual oil change. And I think that's about all I need to do. So let's head over there to the amateur boxer spirit. As the three circuits we are going to are Deep Forest, Seattle, and Midfield Raceway, and hopefully we can manage to clear each of these races without too much trial and error. And also furthermore, that is a staggering amount of money between first and second, so that essentially shows how much you need to know about winning this event. Anyways, let's get on with this event, and hopefully I will have enough tuning to win. Because obviously, I have not driven a wagon yet, and I figured for this, I would do that. So, relax. Once again, hopefully, I will manage to win these races. Driving my wagon. Because obviously, that is something I want to do. Which we have 
the 22 beams. I just got merged. If that was my fellow Impressor STI, you know, the same version 6, I think is what that was, and the Impressor just slid to the inside, and now it's between me and the 22B. On the outside I go, the 22B fights back, but obviously he has a disadvantage because of his straight line speed, but obviously I am hopeful I can remain competitive, at least for race 1. Recently, I've just been sweeping these races. I've just been sweeping these races into way to the nuts. And that's all. Anyways, first lap is down and I've already fucked up the final corner. Although, fortunately for me, of course, unlike the 22B, I do not have a short top speed. Trying to see if I can look for an opening. I'm also wanting to make sure I'm doing this cleanly. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a nudge there from the 22B, but managing to keep everything under control as we now head through onto the back stretch is what I think this is and officially I am still fighting hard for the lead and I am now 1.1 seconds clear of the 22B Oh shit, I just fucked up in the same corner again, and it's not going to bother fighting the 22B because he'll just pass me anyway, and somehow, in spite of that, I still led the second lap. Anyways, third lap of me versus the Impreza 22B, and can I manage to fight for victory? without fucking up in the same area I've been doing twice before. Even though oddly enough, the 22B is also making this fair share of mistakes at the moment. But obviously, the reason why I didn't do the sports suspension is simply because, well, this thing is four-wheel drive. I figured there's probably no need for me to put the sport brakes along with the sport suspension on a car that is four wheel drive. Officially, sliding through the final corner but managing to get it done right this time and I win the race one. By under five seconds. So I think for the second race I probably need to do some detuning. Because I think I might be using an OP car. So then it was the sedan version 6 and 3rd, followed by the current model of the Impreza. STI, and then at the back we had the two Legacies. Anyways, race one is done, and I think I shall save the replay.
just because I don't think I have any replays saved of me at Deep Forest in the Amateur League yet. Anyways. Moving on. Where well, this time we are going to... Seattle. And officially... I think my car is just a little bit overpowered, so... I think I'm gonna remove the computer chip. And... No, I'll keep that on. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, just figured I'd do a little bit of detuning so I can make this just a little bit more challenging. And let's see how we go. It is now time for Seattle. Hopefully this will not go to At the moment, I'm still managing to get myself the audience and down the inside of the Impreza I go, and it's my fellow version 6 that is now currently in second. We are definitely getting fucking sketchy here at the moment in Seattle. Oh shit! I almost thought for sure I was going to leave there. Uh, because there was definitely some contact made on that jump. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there was, de there was some definite contact made there. But officially, I'm now up into the second position. It looks like this could very well be... where I officially start to challenge myself. Right. Not bothering to make any moves on the outside of the bus stop because I was basically trapped in that scenario pretty much no chance of me getting through the corner without crashing. Around the outside of the 23B I go. And I think it's probably fair to say that I might need to take off the turbo. didn't need any tuning on this thing. So, I may have to remove all of the tuning I've done to this thing. Because, so far, this is proving to be very easy for me. And even with less tuning, I'm still pulling away. 
and use AI. Probably because I have that much competence. And I was not concentrating because I was checking to see if my microphone was on. Unfortunately it is. Anyways, I am now pretty much 4.8 seconds clear of the 22B and we're officially it looks like I'm now officially on my way to sweeping two out of three races. I am probably going to have to remove all the tuning I've done for race three because I think these past couple of races have been very easy for me. Probably too easy. And that's essentially why. I think now is probably the right time for me to remove the training and see how this thing does without a power increase. Anyways. Two to the wagon and nil to the 22B. So then it was the present model of the Impreza in third. Followed by my fellow version 6 in 4th, and then at the back once again, it was the two Subaru Legacies. The RSK beating the Blitzen. Anyways. Race 3 of the Amateur Boxer Spirit. Okay, so attempt number three at this race here at midfield because, apparent as it might be, the 22B really knows how to be an asshole. And same field again as we've had in the previous two races. Except this time, I think I probably will need the sports tyres, because... I was literally sliding through those corners, and... I think I do need the sport tyres, so I can get the additional grip. But anyways... Attempt number three of race three in the amateur boxer spirit. And where hopefully this time, I can win this race fair and square. So, first attempt, the 22B beats me fair and square, and on the second attempt, he bumped me in the first corner, and then suddenly, I was literally just fucked over in a big way on that final lap. Because even though I was able to close in, on the final lap, it was not proven to be enough because he really fucked me over in that first corner on the final lap and obviously I am still hoping that I can beat him fair and square on pure pace except for saying that this time I have the sport tyres so obviously I will not have to slide around as much it's already I am now up into the lead here at midfield reverse, and where I'm pretty certain the 22B is probably going to mount a challenge on me. Because he's definitely proving to be one aggressively fierce competitor in this final race, as I've discovered. But obviously, I will manage to benefit from the AI's mistakes, because obviously. I do, of course, manage to take the lead relatively 
early in the race and where hopefully it will pretty much remain this way. As long as I don't make any errors of my own. And still getting a snap of oversteer in certain areas, but hopefully this time, if I don't do it too often, I will manage to officially beat the 22B on my third attempt. And hopefully, if it's possible, the third attempt will be the charm. Considering this is now my third attempt at the shit. So managing to extend my interval over the errors of the other Imprezas behind me, and where officially it now looks like this could very well be where I beat the 22B fair and square. So here we go. Final lap of race three in the Boxer Spirit, and we're officially and now less than four seconds clear of the Impreza 22B. And through this right hander, we go and heading through the S bend, which is what I think that is, and now going up the hill into this rather banked hairpin turn. I would imagine by now I probably have a clear interval to the 22B, so obviously putting on the sport tyres has been hugely beneficial. And that was probably how I won the two previous races. And I think Unless I fuck up in a big way, I think this time I will manage to win this race. And the 22B hits the wall again on that corner exit, and where officially, as we head down the front stretch now, it is going to be victory on my third attempt to do this. So once again in this instance, the third time truly is the charm. And pretty much the same finishing order as we had in Seattle. But there we go. I win at midfield reverse on my third attempt, and I think it was probably the sport tyres that gave me the easy advantage. And just to be certain, yep, I do have a replay saved. So there we go. That was the amateur boxer spirit. And as a result, we win a Subaru Legacy. Nice. Very nice. Anyways. On my third attempt, I have officially emerged victorious at midfield reverse. And no official change in my win ratio, as we are now 32.2% complete with this game, and officially, this is our prize car. So pretty much in the same colour as my wagon, we win ourselves a Subaru Legacy B4 Blitzen in cashmere yellow. Very nice. Anyways, I'm done. So that was the Amateur Boxer Spirit, and next time we shall be doing the Amateur 
80 Sports Car Cup. Stay tuned for more of GT3.